Don't ever drive under the influence of hypoglycemia. Hello nation. Today I'm not very happy. Why? I have five pages from the Department of Motor Vehicles to fill out. One, two, three, four, five. This is for, to get the license back of a patient of mine. It was suspended because he got in a car accident the third time driving while under the influence of hypoglycemia. Now this patient, I followed him for a long time. He's highly educated, has good health insurance, has access to glucose meters, continuous glucose monitors, insulin pumps. He's a type one diabetic. And he has unfortunately developed hypoglycemia unawareness. Now, this is the problem I have. This is the third time that he was in an accident where he could have killed somebody, and trust me, this happens all the time. While he got low while driving, he was not wearing his continuous glucose monitor. I have my Dexcom, and I have some hypoglycemia unawareness. It's not complete, meaning that I do have symptoms, but I don't really notice them until my blood sugar is in the 50s and 60s. He has pretty much totally unaware hypoglycemia. And what did I write on these forms that I have to mail back? I only would allow this patient to drive unless he's wearing his continuous glucose monitor. And because these at the current time do not replace the accuracy of a home glucose monitor, glucose meter, the recommendations are to test before he gets behind the wheel and every hour during continuous driving and having some fast acting glucose like glucose tabs or juice always with him in the glove compartment. Now, all of us really need to be responsible because what happens with gentlemen like this guy, they make rules so onerous against all the folks with diabetes, it makes it very difficult. We have a responsibility of making sure we don't pass out or swerve or get in a car accident during driving. The last thing I'm gonna tell you is I have been involved in five cases over the past four years of people who have passed out while driving. And in three of those cases, innocent people were killed. The person driving the car that got low blood sugar, they seem to be fine. So remember nation, don't drive under the influence of hypoglycemia. So long nation.